Alright folks, it's Daltron here and welcome back to Forza Horizon 5 and we're driving the van today. The candy van. And um we're gonna do some Super 7. If you don't know what Super 7 is, you're gonna find out. Whoa, this thing doesn't control very well. If you if you don't know what Super 7 is, you're gonna find out. In a few moments once we get there, and it will be a few moments because it's two and a half miles away to get to Super 7. And I just thought it'd be fun to drive there together, but um this could take a while, so in editing, I'm going to speed this up, and I'll see you at Super 7. And here we are, coming up on Super 7. And let me explain what this is once we get into it. And you have arrived at your destination. Here we go. So Super 7, you have seven random challenge cards. And the challenge card is a challenge put together by a regular person like me or you or anybody. And they're random. Um, and you just complete all seven of them and you get something at the end. In this case, we're going to get a wheel spin, I guess. But the previous time I did this off camera, I got a rare car. So... I don't know how the completion awards are set up. Maybe that's random too. But anyway, these are just really fun. They're just really fun. And so far, they've all been really easy. Hopefully, I don't jinx myself. But it's just a fun way to do seven easy challenges just if you're looking for something to do. So here we go. Without further ado, let's do the first one and see what this is going to do for us here. All right. Farming skill points. Cool. Now, if there's any drifting ones that come up, I'm going to skip those because you can skip them and replace the card. But I've actually never had a drifting one, but the skills should be fine. The skills are pretty easy. You just go and screw around somewhere. Oh, look at that. We're going to get some pinatas, too. That's awesome. Target five minutes. Race to the destination. I guess I have to stay on target. I can't just, um... Oops, I need some pinata. Darn it. I want to get all those pinatas because there's accolades for them. Try to hit all the pinatas even though you don't have to. Oh, this car's all over the place. I'm missing everything. Plus, ooh, every time I hit something, it shoves the car off, too, so... I'm not going in a straight line because it's impossible to go in a straight line. Oh my gosh, every time... Every time it, something hits me, it just throws me off. I'm missing all the pinatas. Oh, come on. Come on, get the pinatas. Okay, so that was a really easy one. Um, they're not all that easy normally, but that was just super easy. I'm just bummed I didn't get more pinatas. So next up, we've got... Um, pigs can fly. Launch a little piggy as far as you can in under one and a half minutes. Okie dokie, here we go. Alright, let's see how this goes. It could be difficult or easy. We'll see. I don't remember ever driving this car, but we'll see how this goes here. Um, I'm just going to straight line, I guess. Alright, here we go. Oh, I did get 25 or something else. Cool. And I don't actually listen to the radio because copyright always gets my videos. Here we go. Yeah, so this is a pretty easy one, too. You just try to beat 843 feet, which will not be a problem. And here we go. And let's hop outside to see the full effect. Oh, yeah. Way over the target. Double the target. And success. There you go. So, again, another really easy one. Um, I like the Fukin spec on the back. That's pretty funny. And we'll like that one as well. Moving on to number three. All right, number three, go further than ever. Drive the Lotus. Um, just drive the Lotus, okay. And some of these are taking longer to load than the challenge, but that's okay. Edit it down, it's no big deal for you. I'm excited about this car. I saw this come up the other day and I haven't had a chance to drive it, so let's see what happens. All right, there's the loading screen. That's pretty beautiful. Ooh, that might make a good thumbnail right there. Wow, all right, so what are we gonna do here? Oh, it's another thing where you just jump off the ramp. Okay, that's kind of a coincidence. That is just what we did. Oh, this is electric. Oh, nice. Weird. So it's like the same challenge, different car. That's a big coincidence because there's like thousands of these challenges that you can randomly get. That's just one gear. Okay, cool. Almost 300 miles an hour. All right, here we go. Wants us to go 2,000 feet. I think that we can do that without a problem. Uh, maybe not. Oh, dear. Yeah, we can. Oh, boy. We'll be close. I hope it counts. Good, didn't fail. Oh, it failed. 
Okay, so what do you do if you fail a challenge card? I've never failed a challenge card before. Um, we have to go back and do it again? Okay, I guess we just go back and do it again. I've never, never failed a challenge. So let's just go through the water here. My goodness. Be nauseous. There we go. I guess we'll just do it again. Both sides we can see. Sorry about my steering wheel making a bunch of noise. That's just how it is, unfortunately. Come on, let's get back up here. And let's try this again. So we almost went too far because we hit that thing, the sand. No, just like get off of the noisy thing. Okay. We also went too far because we hit the sand. So should we aim right maybe or should we aim left? I think we'll aim right. And if we aim left, we're just going to have more sand. Um, let's just see here. And turn around. There we go. Stop. Nope. Don't turn all the way around. There we go. All right. We'll get the distance. We just got to land and not crash. So let's try it from this view. Let's go to the right a little bit. Let's see if we can land this thing. That's the hard part of the challenge is landing. But that's the truth all all danger signs, right? That you need to count. And let's go a bit to the right here. Just a little bit. And let's see what happens. Oh boy. Sometimes they flip backwards. Get engines in the back. Okay, this could work. Got the distance. There we go. There we go. Much better. Alright, let's keep going. And we'll like that one as well. All right, easy 500 cactus chavo, chavo. Easy 500 cactus achievement accolades may require a couple of runs. Do we have to hit 500 cacti? That could take a long time. This would be the longest one I've ever done, but let's just see here. Wow, we get to do it in... Oh, you're just going to go down the thing. Okay, good. I was going to say, if we have to like drive around and hit 500 cacti randomly throughout the world, that would take hours. Um, but this should be pretty simple. Okay, I think what we're going to do... We only have a minute and a half to do it. We're going to go this view so that we can see better. Whoops. we got to get some speed, too. Oh, dear. Okay, if we don't get speed, let's use this view then. If we don't get speed, we can't hit them. Well, this isn't so bad. Kind of a silly one, but not too horrible. Race to the danger sign. Oh, we don't want to hit the cacti? This is race to the danger sign, but I thought we had to get 500 cacti. Maybe there's 500 in the way. Oh, I feel stupid now. I totally misread that. I mean, 131 feet shouldn't be too bad. Um, whoops, we totally missed the danger sign. Okay, well that was embarrassing. Um, we might not have enough time to re to do this on the first run, but we'll try. Well, as I was going to say, is the longest challenge card I had was a five minute speed drive from, oh boy, point A to point B. We had a, we had to do a speed run and it took, um, yes I do, I want to reset my car and it took five and a half minutes. That's the longest challenge card I've had. Um, oh really? You're going to put me here? Obviously 17 seconds isn't enough. I think what we need to do is do this one again. Um, because I misunderstood the assignment. Come on. Yeah, we're going to see here. Let her run out and see what happens when we fail a challenge. It's the first challenge I've ever failed. Ugh, tough start. You can retry the same challenge card or get a new one. We're going to retry. Okay, cool. Very simple. First time for everything. So I'm going to avoid the cacti, I guess. I thought it meant we had to get 500 cacti and then jump. Or maybe we do. Um, oh, easy five. I already got the achievement and accolade for the 500. Not a big deal. So we're just going to go around and we're just going to um, make the jump. Because we don't need the cacti achievement. We got that a long time ago. Alright, here we go. As long as we land this thing and it doesn't tip over or anything, we should be pretty good here without much of an issue. So here we go, 131 feet is all we need. We're going to go 500, I think go to the right on this one, I can't remember. It's been a long time since I've done the danger sign. If we land it, we're good. Okay, there we go. No problem, just keep going.
And we'll like that one as well. All right, what is next? All right, number five, launch the Morse as far as you can. Is this going to be the same danger sign or is it going to be something new here? Let's see. All right, there's our loading screen. And yes, the same, same danger sign. So this is very strange because I've never had this happen where um, I've gotten this similar... I'm just jumping the road here, though. Maybe not. I've never been in a situation where there's similar challenge cards. So this is very weird to make a video when this is happening. But that's just how it is, I guess. Yeah, I've never had never had this happen. I look for 941 in this guy. He's going to tip over backwards. Where's the distance? Just land it. Does it count? He counted. Cool. Alrighty, let's keep going. And we'll like that one as well. Why not? All right, the penultimate challenge, the Bronco, and it's in an Asian language. I'm not going to guess which one. Um, so let's see what it does, I guess. All right, cool. Green Bronco. BTTF. Bring the tank, Frank. Is that what that means? I don't know. That makes me realize I don't even know the license plate of a new car. It's in real life. I should probably figure that out. All right, what are we doing? We're racing to the destination. We're trying to get there in... 32 seconds. That's all we're doing. Just trying to get there in 32 seconds. Okay, let's do it. It's a cheat, not a cheat. This is what you're supposed to do. This is always how these are. If it's a story or a challenge, that is how you do it. You always cut across. That's the point. It's driving itself. I'm not doing this. Let's keep going. And we'll like that one as well. That's kind of cool. Final challenge for this round of Super 7. Set the route. Get to the destination in under 20 seconds. Okay, we'll see how this goes. And there is the beautiful loading screen. 20 seconds, huh? This is going to be interesting. Probably a couple corners to go around. Might have to do this one a couple times because that's a short amount of time to learn a route to get down to what you want to do. Oh, you just got a drag race. Okay, well, that's going to be 20 seconds just to set that up. Let's see the inside of this car. Cool. And... Yeah, not a problem. Alrighty. That wasn't too bad, I think. Or are we not going to make it because I spent so much time screwing around? Okay, we made it. There we go. That was our final one. Let's wrap this up. There we go. I got a horizon wheel spin for finishing this round of Super 7. So that's what Super 7 is. It's just seven super challenges that are generally pretty easy. Um, I've never had one that was terribly difficult. And it's fun. It took me, what, all of 22 minutes before I edited it down for you. So, there you go. Something you can do if you just want something different to do. Of course, you can design your own, which I've never done. I'm sure there's plenty of YouTube tutorials on how to design your own challenge card for Super 7. The other thing to mention, I do not want to do another round, thank you. Another thing to mention is these challenge cards also appear on the map. So if you filter, not the same challenge cards, just challenge cards in general. If you do event labs, because that's how they're made, you'll see challenge cards. So they're just around on the map too. And every time you do Super 7, more of them pop up. And different ones pop up. So like these three have been there for a while for me. And then that one, these two just got added now. And they changed. So like they won't always be the same ones every time you log in. I'm not exactly sure how that works entirely, but... um that's what it is and that's what these things are if you're always wondering and like i said oh yeah vent labs and there's custom races too but you can create your own i'm sure there's tutorials on how to do it but otherwise i'm going to drive away in my candy van and um maybe go down here to the beach and set up a camp for the night who knows but anyway hopefully you enjoyed it if you did like subscribe so other people know that we exist and if there's anything you want me to do in the game or any other game like Flight Simulator, Minecraft or something, just let me know and I'll do it. And uh, I'm going to set up camp and I'll see you next time.